Hi, uh, let's continue on the electromagnetic radiation. Uh, this electromagnetic radiation has now been confirmed that they have both properties of wave and particulate matter. Because it was previously thought that electromagnetic radiation uh, only exhibited uh, uh, wave properties. This uh, phenomena is now referred to as dual nature of light. Light can both behave as a wave, as a wave, light as a wave, can also behave as a stream, as a stream of photons. This is the dionage of light. So now let's look at uh, uh, de Broglie. De Broglie derived the, uh, this equation, lambda is equal to h over m V. This equation will help us to calculate the uh, wavelength of a particle. In this case, uh, H is Planck's constant. H is Planck's constant, which is equal to 6.626 times 10 and I said 4 joule per second. We know that 1 joule is equal to 1 kg meter squared per second squared. So if we replace joule with this, then Planck's constant will be 6.26 times 10 minus 34. The, the second will simply cancel. So we have kg meter squared per second. So this is the H value that we shall use in our calculations. M is mass mass in kgs, then v is velocity or speed in meters per, per second. Example, uh, calculate, calculate the, the wavelength, the wavelength of an electron, of an electron mass 9.11 times 10 minus 31 kg traveling traveling at a speed of at a speed of uh, 2.8 times 10 to the power 7 meters per second so using the Broglie equation lambda plus h over mv our h is equal to 6.626 times 10 minus 34 kg kg uh, meter squared per second over uh, mass which is 9.11 times 10 minus 31 kg then speed 2.8 times 10 to the power 7 meter per second. So the cages will cancel. Second, second, then this meter will cancel with that one. So we're only remaining for a meter. So when you do the uh, computation, you find that lambda is equal to, so when you, you multiply here, Find that lambda is equal to 2.8 times 10 to the power 7 meters per second. So this is how we can use our uh, equation. This equation will help us to calculate the wavelength of uh, a, a particle. This is the Broglie equation. So always remember to express a, a Planck's constant in kg meters squared per, per second. Then our next uh, tutorial will be on the emission uh, spectrum of 
hydrogen atom. Thank you.